Hi, I'm Christina with Northwest Kansas Radio, and today we are talking with Angie Gady, who is the Director of D Development and, help me out. Fundraising. And fundraising for <laughs> Miriam's Hope. It's and, a mouthful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. So Miriam's Hope um, is located in Oberlin. Yes. And tell me, what is it? I mean, I've never heard Miriam's Hope before, so tell me what it is. Okay, so that's really why I wanted to be here today, because we are new in the area, um, we're not so much new as an organization, but we're new to Northwest Kansas. So Miriam's Hope started in Hastings, Nebraska. Okay. Um, what we do is we take in single moms and their kiddos that are at risk of entering the foster care system. And it's a residential program. So they get um, to live on the ranch with us for up to 12 months. And in those 12 months, we teach a lot of basic life skills, um, time management, budgeting, uh, meal planning, one-on-one um, -on -one play with your kiddos, um, just all those things that a lot of us take for granted mm -hmm. that, you know, if we have never been in that situation, we don't really get that that's not necessarily a given in every home. Sure. So um, that's our goal. And we are um, we've, I've had a couple of people ask me, like, are we, you know, fighting the foster care system? No, not in any way, shape, or form mm -hmm. are we. We are pro-family. So our goal is to come alongside foster care and just have another alternative to that. Sure, sure. So you said that it, they live on a ranch. Yes. So we have 20 acres just outside of Oberlin. Um, we are... It used to, it's in the Sapa Park area. If anybody knows where the Sapa um, campground is, we're just past that. Okay. Um, so our, our moms have their own housing and we actually have um, five buildings out there that we um, have either completely renovated or we have one that's in the, pro the last one's in the process. Hmm. Um, but yeah, we, and we have a family advocate that lives in the housing unit with them 24 seven. Mm -hmm. So there's always somebody there, mm -hmm. you know, if somebody's having a crisis moment, there's sure. always somebody there. Sure. So this said, you said it started in Hastings. It's mm -hmm. newer in Northwest Kansas. Mm -hmm. So how long has it been in the Oberlin area? Um, well, it's actually, um, our founders have been there for the last three years, um, trying to renovate and, mm -hmm. you know, get the process. Sure, a lot of work. Yes, um, of that going. But um, we actually just started taking applications early this summer. Awesome. So if someone wants to get a hold of you and they feel like maybe this is an option for them and you know they need that help and that support, how mm -hmm. do they get a hold of you? Well, um, nothing that we do is like court mandated. Mm -hmm. So it's all a referral process. Mm -hmm. um, so if you know someone that you think might benefit from this or sometimes we will get a phone call from a relative or a friend you know saying I think this would be a good idea then we reach out to the mom mm -hmm. um, and you can find us on Facebook you can find us um, on our website which is miriamshope.com mm -hmm. and yeah you can contact any of us any of the staff and we would be happy to talk to anybody. And you said 28. Is that, is that what you said? 28 people? 28. How many people can it hold at once? Oh, okay. Oh. So we have, we have 20 acres. 20 acres. There you go. Um, but we can, right now we can house three. Mm -hmm. um, as soon as the last building is done, we'll be able to do four more families. So it's seven, could be eight, depending on how, what size our families are. Sure but that would be probably about the maximum. Right, right. So you guys are doing some fundraising and you're trying to get yes. the word out and you're trying to you know, do these different things. And I know that you have a dessert auction coming up in mm -hmm. Colby mm -hmm. in November. So tell me about that. Okay, so I'm really excited about this. Um, it's the first um, official fundraiser that I've been, <laughs> I'm responsible for and I'm planning. Um, so we are doing it November 18th at the Colby Event Center. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, what it is, is we're gonna provide the meal. Um, it's a sit down, somebody serve you kind of meal. Okay. So we're, and 
naturally we will give some info about who we are and what we sure. do. Mm -hmm. um, but then after everybody's eating, we get to have um, a table. So an entire table will get together and bid on a whole dessert. Oh, okay. So it's not an individual buying their individual dessert. So it's, your table has to agree on what dessert yes, you're buying. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. And I think it's going to be really fun. Um, I have never even attended one, but I've had to do my homework for this. And it, it seems like a lot of fun. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's casual. You get to have a meal with friends, mm -hmm. you know. And in the end, we just ask that they come with a generous heart. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure. Okay, so that's November 18th mm -hmm. at the Colby Events Center. Yes, at 6 o'clock. And how do they get in? And how do they, I mean, do they show up? Do they have to buy tickets? Well, um, so what we have been doing is kind of designating table hosts. So if somebody wants to host a table, which only means you're responsible for filling, filling your, the chairs. Yes, sure. that's all that means. Mm -hmm. um, so, and we have, I think we have like four tables left. So if anybody's interested in being a table host, mm -hmm. you want to have a nice meal with your friends, contact us. Contact Perfect. me. That's good. Perfect. Perfect. And uh, so, we, Angie, we put your contact information oh, on the screen. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> and uh, we wish, I mean, it sounds like an awesome thing, and we're, we're excited for Northwest Kansas to have this and for moms to maybe have another option mm -hmm. besides losing their children, you know, if, yeah. and you guys can give them that support and the support that you give them. Um, how do you, I mean, what other, I mean, you said you kind of teach them and you, um, you know, teach them life skills and how to be mm -hmm. a better mom, maybe and a mm -hmm. better family, make it work. Mm -hmm. um, how else do you feel like they, what else do they get out of that, out of that 12 months? Well, so even in the first, we kind of go in three month increments. So the first three months is really like a stable, a stableness, you know, mm -hmm. to the family. Um, the next three months, we kind of work more on some of those things that they're gonna have to think about um, once they leave the ranch. Mm -hmm. um, starting like month, um, that third quarter, then we really start focusing on, okay, Life outside the ranch, what is that going to look like? Mm -hmm. um, job shadowing, mm -hmm. uh, resume writing, all life skills. Yes, all those things mm -hmm. that, you know, if we had to sit down and write them all out, right, It'd be a lot. Yeah, it would be a lot. And um, it's just one of those things that we want by the time they leave the ranch, we want to make sure they feel like they are not only a cohesive family, but that mom feels comfortable being independent. Sure, sure. So is all your funding for this? I mean, oh. I guess, you know, where does that come from? We take no state or federal money. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, we are a Christian organization and truly the local uh, churches and people that just believe in us have supported everything. Okay. Um, and that's something that I cannot um, st stress enough that, you know, it is not, it is not that we are out, you know, asking everybody for money. We just want you to believe in what we do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And God's taking care of the rest. Sure. Sure. All right. Well, Angie, thank you so much thank for being you with so me. Much for yeah. me and here. good luck. Yes. And if you have any questions, make sure you get a hold of Angie yeah. at Miriam's Hope. She'd be happy to answer them. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm Christina, and this is Northwest Kansas Radio. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. Great. There you go. <laughs> Except he's like making faces at me from over there. Oh, I didn't even see. No, Anybody you don't. Know, yeah. Okay. Uh huh. <laughs>